the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May our Lord be with you. You know, that, that little exercise there with the church in total darkness would work better at a mass at 6 o'clock in the morning, but nobody would be here at 6 o'clock in the morning. But, it, you know, the, the darkest days of the year begin to turn right now. The sun stays up a few more, a minute or so later every day, so whatever. But you saw the streak of the sun shining through. It was perfect right there in the middle of the church. I wish those at home could see it. In any case, let us all call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, teach us to pray as you did. Lord, have mercy. Give us today our daily bread. Christ, have mercy. Give us, forgive us our sins as we forgive one another. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sin and bring us to everlasting life. And we pray, O oh God, who through your only begotten Son made of us a new creation. Look kindly, we pray, on the handiwork of your mercy. And at your Son's coming, cleanse us from every stain of our old ways of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Zephaniah. Thus says the Lord, Woe to the city, rebellious and polluted, to the tyrannical city. She hears no voice, accepts no correction. In the Lord she has not trusted. To her God she has not drawn near. For then I will change and purify the lips of the people, that they may all call upon the name of the Lord, and serve him with one accord. From beyond the rivers of Ethiopia and as far as the recesses of the north, they shall bring me offerings. On that day, you need not be ashamed of all your deeds, your rebellious actions against me. For then I will remove from your midst the proud braggarts. And you shall no longer exalt yourself on my holy mountain, but I will leave as the remnant in your midst a people humble and lowly, who shall take refuge in the name of the Lord, the remnant of Israel. They shall do no wrong and speak no lies, nor shall there be found in their mouths a deceitful tongue. They shall pasture and couch their flocks with none to disturb them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. The Lord, the Lord hears, hears the, the cry, cry of the poor. the poor. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, that your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor man called out, the Lord heard. And from all his distress, he saved him. Lord the Lord hears, hears the cry of the poor. poor. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them. And from all their distress, he rescues them. The Lord, Lord hears, hears the cry, the cry of, the of the poor. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and those whose lives are crushed. The Lord redeems the lives of his servants. No one, incurs guilt, no one incurs guilt who takes refuge in him. Lord, the Lord hear hears the cry, cry of the poor. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. 
Jesus said to the chief priests and elders, what's your opinion? The man had two sons. He came to the first and he said, son, go out and work in the vineyard today. The son said in reply, I will not. But afterward, he, he changed his mind and he went. He came to the other son and gave the same order. He said, yes, sir, but he didn't go. Which of the two did the father's will? They answered, well, the first. Jesus said to him, amen, I say to you, tax collectors and prostitutes are entering the kingdom of God before you. When John came to you in the way of righteousness, you did not believe him, but the tax collectors and the prostitutes did. Yet even when you saw that, you did not change your mind and believe in him. The gospel of the Lord. So just two weeks ago, I was, no, longer than that, I was watching the practice up at Holy Cross as they were getting ready to do Annie. And there's a great line in the show where Daddy Warbucks comes home from being away for, I don't know, six weeks or something, and he says, any messages for me? And he said, well, President Roosevelt called and, and, somebody, and, and Harpo Marx. And he said, well, what, what did Harpo say? And the answer came, he didn't say. <laughs> and, you know, of course, the kids don't know who Harpo Marx was. They wouldn't know Harpo Marx from Karl Marx. <laughs> but if you can't speak, see, see, there's two problems in the spiritual life. One is when you... Say you're going to do something and you don't do it. The other is when you say you're going to do something and you do the opposite. That's hypocrisy. And nothing, I don't think, turns people off more from coming to church than when they say, see, Christians, or any religion, but for us, Christians say one thing, but they do the other. They say love your neighbor, but they'll kill you behind your back. You know, they, 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 they preach, but they do the opposite. How would that brought, bring people to church? When they look at you or me, and we say one thing, and we do the opposite. And we have a billboard down on Main Avenue, and that's nice. But a better billboard would be people who say one thing and practice it, not the opposite. You're the billboard. You're the only billboard Jesus has, you and me. And if we were truly practicing what we preach, the place would be filled. So we have a lot of work to do. Let us stand, my friends, and we'll offer our petitions to the Lord. The response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. That during this season in Advent, the church may testify to the Lord's coming with patience and joy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That world leaders commit themselves to economic justice so all people and all regions may enjoy peaceful and fruitful lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and their caregivers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of those who asked us to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Thomas Labucus, for whom this Mass is being offered, may they be at peace with God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Look, I'm late now in our Advent preparation. Draw us ever closer to you that our ears and our hearts may hear the word of God and we put into practice this day. We make all of our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Please, Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings, since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right, just our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him, with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when at last he came. It's by his gift that we already rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, that when he comes he may find his watchful in prayer, exultant in his praise. And so with angels, archangels, thrones, dominions, and all the powers of heaven, we praise you as we say, Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when Sabrani took a chalice, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity with Francis, our Pope Joseph, our Bishop, all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection, all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Together we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace to the Lord be with you always. We share a sign of Christ's peace.
Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word and my soul shall be healed. By way of announcement, and this is important, it, it certainly appears that we are going to get murdered on Thursday and Friday with a nasty storm that, according to uh, the Today Show, was destroying South Dakota, North Dakota, and Nebraska, and it's coming our way. It's not going to miss us. I think we'll be okay tomorrow, but I'm sure on Thursday and Friday, there's a very good chance that the school district will certainly call off school. The worst thing is for the kids to get into school and then they have to get them home in the middle of a snowstorm. So I'm sure they'll, almost certain, they'll take the more conservative approach and probably postpone school both days. That's what I'm thinking. It could miss us, I suppose, but that's not going to happen. So pay attention. If there's a two-hour delay or no school at the Grand School District, this mass is postponed and will reschedule the intention for the next available day. That is for your safety. And I can walk across the the sidewalk is easy for me, but some of you people would come out in a blizzard, and, and if you fall, you will never be the same. A broken hip, that's pretty much, that's, you don't want that. So stay home, don't go Christmas shopping, there's still a whole nother week left till Christmas, so take it easy if we get this nasty, miserable mix of ice, rain, snow, sleet, snizzle, everything. So just be very, very careful. Let us all stand to pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Mighty God bless us, our families, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. In our liturgy ends, we go in peace, glorifying God with our lives. Thanks be to God.